Well, hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. It's day two of the school, and Kevin is already upset. Uh, I would have been upset yesterday, but I was too busy to read through, you know, all the stuff you got to sign. Uh, because even though it was demanded the very first night, I just, first of all, I have a problem with people demanding anything, and second of all, I didn't get to it. So anyway, um, an issue has to be addressed at the uh, Kennett Middle School, and I'm sure probably every public school, um, because they're blatantly lying to parents, okay, in relation to immunizations. And I mentioned this to Kevin Richard, the principal, last year, and to Miss Jeffrey, the nurse, uh, when I spoke to her about obtaining the vaccination waiver. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to put the contact information below to the school board, and I'm going to ask everybody that's a Conway resident to demand that the school update this policy immediately. Not, not, not next week after all the kids have been injected. I mean immediately. Immediately, phone calls to the parents, letters home that must be signed, whatever fashion is reasonable, because this is a blatant lie. The state of New Hampshire requires that all students be immunized in order to attend public schools. State requirements for school year 2013-14 may be found by clicking on the link on the KMS website. Please be sure to send any immunization updates to the nurse's office to be documented. No mention of your second option, which in itself contains two options. The second option, <coughs> excuse me folks, I'm just getting back from the dentist and I still have tooth particles in uh, my mouth and I'm a little numb. Um, mouth is numb, I'm not numb, I'm upset. And uh, many of you know that when I get upset, sometimes vulgar language is used. I'm going to try to tone it down because I really do care. The people that need it specifically, I'll address that and warn everybody ahead of time. But for this, I want all the parents and children to be able to see this information. This is a lie, and it was addressed verbally last year to the school. You have the right to obtain a vaccination waiver, not only in New Hampshire, but in every state in the United States and many countries as well. To obtain a waiver, you must claim religious right, which is not defined. You cannot define religion. So all you have to do is tell the school or the local health board, depending on where you get the, vac uh, the vaccination waiver. Most of the time it's through the school nurse. Here in New Hampshire, here at Kennett Middle School, it's through the school nurse. The school nurse knows specifically that form is in her office, and if it isn't, it's supposed to be. The file is somewhere. Maybe they didn't waste the printing, but she is aware of this. I know she is. We discussed it last year. The second way you can obtain a waiver if there's a medical reason, and you will need a doctor's okay for that. So, um, you don't need to bother with that. You don't need to get anybody's written permission, because all you have to do is say, it violates what I believe to be right, or it violates my faith. They, they can't ask you any questions, so it doesn't really matter how you word it, however you're comfortable. But if you're against it in any fashion, that is your religious right. They can't question it, even if you in your mind believe that it doesn't relate to religion, but you're damn well not going to get anybody to sign a note for you not to do something. We're not in grade school here, and the kids that are in grade school are being injected and lied to. The parents lied to. And, and I, I, we can't have that. I, whether the school endorses vaccination or not, apparently they do because they blatantly lie for immunizations. They blatantly lie. 
And when you mention the waiver and, and they act scared, the first question that comes to mind is if, if you're vaccinated and I'm not, why are you scared of me if your vaccinations are so good? Okay, well, anyway, uh, that's all because if I go much deeper, I probably will violate somebody's eardrums and I, I really don't want to do that especially on this issue so I'm going to put well you can see the school school number there four four seven six three six four the nurse Paula Jeffrey email p underscore Jeffrey at sau uh, nine dot org and I will put uh, the phone number uh, in an email contact to the school board. Uh, I'll have to go dig that up before I upload this and uh, that link will be below. Please circulate this around uh, because this applies to any state. I'm talking about New Hampshire here in my school but this is the same scenario throughout this country and when you do your research you will find that not only are vaccinations void, they don't, they haven't really been proven uh, beyond a shadow of a doubt to, to work and uh, there is correlations to autism and other diseases now running rampant. Um, I'm sure they create a pill for that but you know if you don't want to be stuck in the arm and eat pills on a regular basis or if you don't want your kids to more importantly get the waiver do the research if anybody needs help with that please reach out to me you can email me Kevin at masterofmanythings.com. You can even call me. I don't care. 603-452-7086. That's fine. Uh, leave a message. I'm a busy guy. I will get back to you. Doesn't matter. Uh, this is too important. Um, people need to do this. I'm going to put another link below, which will bring you to a website. In case you're not in New Hampshire, um, sometimes you have to go to the health board. But this will give you a list of all the uh, do's and don'ts to each state. But remember, for any religious reason, that's all you got to say. For religious reasons, I do not want this for my child. End of discussion. Now, they will try to leverage you and inform you with their false science and fear you and those other things. I have to say this nurse did not. She was very open to it. But the point of the matter is she is aware and lying. Now, I'm sure she's not responsible for the printing of this. So I will say that. The school board, I guess, ultimately, whoever wrote this up and okayed this, is the one and I'll have to address that with the school board because I'm sure Mr. Richard doesn't have time for such things. So anyway, he's a busy man. Anyway, much love, many thanks. There'll be some links, my phone number, my email, all that below and reach out to me if you need help with this. Back with you quickly, human beings. Uh, you know, I got three boys, two middle school, one in high school and I'm just going through Zach's paperwork now. The high school does let parents know um, of the choices at least it says you know the law requires documentation of immunizations or a notarized exemption and uh, I guess my final question would be does the high school let parents know because by this time it's too late uh, most of the vaccines are required um, you know before high school so anyway that's just a question but I uh, thought I'd make note of uh, the fact that the local high school does let parents know the middle school doesn't, all the same school board obviously, and uh, what's really going on here. Much love, many thanks, and uh, links for other information and the number to call will be below. All right, well only about a minute went by and I'm a little irritated or concerned at least again, filling out the uh, paperwork for the high school for Zach. And now not only does the school, you know, they're sure you need a primary care doctor, which is probably a good idea, uh, but they're pretty sure that everybody has a mental health provider as well. This is where we've gone, huh? We're going to anticipate that all of our children are lacking in the mental health department. This is ridiculous. Uh, it, maybe it is justified in this society. But again, there's another question as to why. Back with you quickly, everybody. Uh, as you know, I like to show you that I'm doing what I'm asking you to do as far as contacting uh, the school board and so the phone number is right here 603-447-8368 and I want to show you that I know it's after hours but uh, I may not be able to get through to them during the day because of work so I'm gonna call and leave a message now and I want you to see that and I'd like you to do the same or email I'll show you that in a moment
That is if they have a answering service. If not, we'll try to. You have reached the school administrative unit number nine. Our office hours are Monday through Friday from 7.30 a.m. until 5 p.m. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time. To leave a message with the receptionist, please press zero. If you are calling to speak with a special services department, that number is 447-8951. If you are looking for the transportation coordinator, that number is 447-3626. For a list of extensions and employees, please press 3. Thank you. Your call is being transferred. Oh, good Lord. Superintendent Dr. Carl Nelson, Extension 20. Special Education. Your call is being transferred to the receptionist. I'm away from my desk right at the moment, but please leave me a message, and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Thank you. Miss Quint, my name is Kevin Allen. My intentions were to reach the superintendent, Mr. Nelson. Um, I have an issue that I'm very concerned with uh, because the middle school put out information that is not truthful in relation to the uh, vaccine issue. They uh, assure the parents that state law says that they have to have their children vaccinated, and that is not true, um, and there's enough science to support the fact that it's actually not safe. Now, the high school doesn't do this. They do notify parents of both options, and I'm calling to request immediately that the school notify the parents in the middle school um, who are still getting vaccinations uh, that they don't have to do that and that they can obtain a waiver. Uh, this information will also be going out on YouTube to make the general public aware. I appreciate your time, and any questions can be directed to myself at 603-452-7086. Thank you. Okay, folks, uh, you know, they'll get the message, and I, I really need a few of you to call so that, that in, and even if you're not, you know, from Conway, we don't need our public schools, right? Uh, maybe you're just a New Hampshire resident and you're paying for this in your land tax, or maybe you doesn't really matter where you are. Uh, there are schools, and they must do something about it. So I'll show you also the contact information down here. Um, you can uh, email Mr. Nelson right here, uh, and I'll just put his email down below for you, as well as the phone number, um, and you can go to sau uh, sau9.org if uh, you want to visit the website for other information. I'll link you to all this, uh, but please give them a call. Uh, we just want the truth. We, they lied to the parents. Parents are not informed about their options in relation to the health of their children. And whether you agree or disagree with vaccines, um, they have violated one of the things that this nation stands for, as far as I'm concerned. Free choice, freedom of information, and they are a public servant, and they're not serving properly on this issue. So, much love, many thanks for your support, and uh, I'll see you soon. And you've got to put your bodies upon the gears and upon the wheels, upon the levers, upon all the apparatus, and you've got to make it stop, and you've got to indicate to the people who run it, to the people who own it, that unless you're free, the machine...